Hi, we're today here with Mark Spencer here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Uh, we have a really nice view here in the um, Astros Conference in Kuala Lumpur. And um, I just wanted to say, take some time of yours, Mark, and uh, uh, understand the philosophy behind Asterisk and DGM. And uh, where do you see the services going? And uh, uh, so let's get started with what got you started with Asterisk? Well, um, of course, uh, Asterisk started because I needed uh, my own phone system and couldn't afford it. So I decided to just make one. So uh, that's pretty much how I got started. So um, were there any other phone systems available at that time, IP-based, which you thought could have, you could have used rather uh, than creating your own? There weren't really anything that existed at that point. The closest you had were like dialogic cards that you could use to build something, but even that was really expensive and it didn't do voice over IP. And this is year 19... 1999. 1999. And how old were you at that time? Uh, 21. 21. All right. And this is like when you're in school or? Yeah, it's about a year away from graduating. Super. And um, and when did you start DGM then? Uh, the same year, 1999. Same year. So mm -hmm. you, you and, and you needed those, the software for DGM basically? Yeah. yeah. Of course, at that time it was called Linux Support Services. Oh, and it was just a Linux support shop? Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Super. And um, since then, how would you describe in a short story how, where have you come from and to where? Well, um, a couple of years after we created Asterisk, then it sort of became clear that that was more interesting than the rest of the support business we were doing. So we refocused the company around Asterisk, and uh, I guess the rest is kind of history. It's been uh, going ever since. And what would you say at the moment the growth rate of DGM is per year? Well, we don't really uh, disclose any numbers quite like that, but uh, we've had uh, 28 consecutive quarters of growth and profitability. And, and what do you, how many installations do you think are done a, a, a year for Astros? We had about a million downloads of Astros last year alone, and I think we've uh, passed that already this year, so uh, it's, uh, it's pretty fast. Cool. And um, I, uh, the you, is there any other coming project which you think is of really good interest to you, related, which is done on Asterisk, which is which fascinates you? Well, there are a number of applications involving Asterisk that I think are really cool. Um, one of my personal projects will be announcing at Astrocon, so everybody can stay tuned, and if they'll be there in Phoenix, um, they should, uh, should see something pretty exciting. Oh, super. And uh, a friend of yours were uh, doing... Vox Cloud. Um, yeah. Wh uh, what's that all about? Doing the Cloud Box, which is a hosted uh, asterisk out in the cloud um, with a, both the sort of natural asterisk API and some other APIs. Idea being, it makes it a lot easier to get uh, asterisk up and running, particularly for non PBX applications. Is that a DGM product or DGM no, byproduct? It's his, own, his own thing. You know, like, uh, many cottage industries around asterisk. Super. And, and how do you feel personally when you see uh, yourself, you know, you know, whenever where you think that what have you have created has created so many cottage industries, as you just said, and those cottage industries are growing into something larger. Uh, for, uh, for example, in our company, it has really taken us off into a different dimension altogether. And what do you, how do you feel yourself, you know, do you Describe it. I don't want well, to push uh, any words in here. But. It can be uh, uh, really very rewarding at times, uh, and other times it can be very frustrating. It just uh, depends. Um, you have uh, some companies who really work hard to try to give back and to contribute, and you have other companies who are very opportunistic and will uh, uh, take advantage of the software without contributing, and in some cases even um, competing with what we're trying to do at Digium and making it very hard for us to continue developing the very software that has brought them the success that they've had. Um, so it's a, it's a very wide range of emotions for someone that has uh, spent so much time creating something like that. Is, how would you think is the best way to contribute back to the Astros community, in your well, opinion? Well, there are so many different ways. You can contribute through code, 
he can contribute uh, through helping spread the word about Asterisk. And of course, uh, an easy way is to, to buy stuff from Digium because you know just about half of the Asterisk development now uh, comes out of Digium. It's the largest engineering group within Digium. Is the the group uh, focused on open source software development. So every time you buy a Digium product or service, you're directly contributing to being able to have us continue. To